lovelies, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh Your Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we're gonna jump right into this one. I, um, I've been playing around. We'll see if we can make this magic happen more than once. But what we're gonna do is, oh, we're gonna make crystallized flowers. Can you, oh. I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks. We'll see if we can make this happen again because I did an experiment yesterday just to make sure that I kind of knew what I was doing. One thing I will say about this particular kind of um, procedure, <laughs> that's not the word I was going for, but we'll use that one. With this type of um, project, you have to let go of all expectations, <laughs> or at least some, um, because it's gonna do what it's gonna do and there's not much you can do about it. That sounds so <laughs> terrifying, but nonetheless, let's do this. So we're going to make some crystallized flowers. And then of course we will put them in a project at the end. Um, any guesses to what the project's going to look like? We've done it before. I'm surprised I didn't do one for spooky season. That's the only hints I'll give you, but I think you're going to enjoy this quite a bit. So let's jump in first on this. We're going to get, we're going to get all sciencey. I don't understand any of the science that we're going to be doing, but we're going to we're going to have a science experiment with our wood flowers today. It's going to be amazing. So let's 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 start doing that first. Let's break down all of the materials needed, how to do this. And 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 then yeah, we're going to have some sparkly flowers at the end. I'm so excited. The supplies needed. Borax. You can find this at um, pretty much any grocery store or Walmart, Target, anywhere in the laundry department. Borax is going to be your friend. Yes. So get yourself a box of this. I think it's around like five bucks. And um, you can make a lot of crystallized flowers with the Borax. Some sort of cup or glass jar. Um, I went with things that are a little bit further open. I've also seen people use plastic cups before. Um, I myself have used a big, huge boiling pot, depending on what I'm trying to crystallize. Uh, with a cup this size though, which is a, a decent sized coffee cup, I wouldn't do any flowers bigger than two, two and a half inch in size, because you do not want the flower touching the sides of your cup, nor like you just want it to, to be free floating in there a little bit. So get yourself some cups or um, some like I have a whole bunch of spaghetti jars too that I'm gonna be using for some of these. You're going to need some, I always forget the word, what's the word for these? Pipe cleaner. You need a pipe cleaner. And you're going to insert the pipe cleaner into your flower. And then you want some sort of stick or something that's gonna go across the entire cup itself. And we're just gonna wrap our lovely pipe cleaner around it. So that we go whoop, just so whoop, whoop, in the cup it goes. Nice and nice and floating, not touching the sides. Perfect. You're also going to need hot water. I am going to be using a, it's already got water in there, electric kettle. Make it nice and hot and toasty warm. We need hot water while we do this. You're also going to need a spoon. completely optional mica powder. I am going to be mixing this pearl gold and this pink mica powder to color my flowers and the crystals. And I'll show you um, an example of that as well. We're also, I'm going to, I think, try um, and crystallize some greenery too. I've got the wide ruscus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. We're gonna see what happens. I've never, I've never tried to crystallize. I also have this like faux pine. I've never tried to crystallize greenery before. So we're gonna give that a try too and see what happens. So next up, let's get one of these, at least one of these in some water and borax mixture. I'll show you how to do the mixture and we will get those flowers getting, getting their crystallization going. Get it on or, or something, I don't know. We'll start with this one so you guys can see what we're doing. I eyeball this, but I have read 
and heard that it's a uh, two to one ratio. So two times the water to one times the borax. So if you do two cups of water, one cup of borax. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's what I always do. And I'll kind of give you my secrets to eyeballing it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fill her up with water right off the bat. We're gonna get pretty full with that. Whoa. You're supposed to go slow and steady. I obviously didn't. But once you see that there's a little bit kind of setting at the bottom, then you know you're at your, your point where it no longer will dissolve in the water and that there's all of the borax that you need. I'm gonna add the mica powder. Again, this is completely optional. It will change the color of the flower as well as the crystals that are gonna form on the flower. If you don't want, if you just want it to be like this pretty white crystal kind of going across your cream flowers, then this is all you need. If you wanna add some color, you can also add food dye instead of mica powder to color it. I don't, I don't know that I want a ton. Just a little, a little touch of something and see what it does. So again, I'm doing like a mixture of pink and this like pearly gold. It's just so much fun. I don't know if the camera picks up, but it like just, it's just magical. It's like, do you remember when, well, this is gonna date me, but we used to have these like little, they were water tubes. They were only about that long and we did obscene things with them, but not on purpose because we were kids, but they would like slide and move and there would be like beads or other things, glitter mixed in them as well. I don't remember what we called them, but there would be like this like swirly whirly goodness. It reminds me of that. That's exactly what it is. So we've got this like peachy gold color kind of going on. So then we're gonna take this. The only thing I don't have that I do need to go get is something to put on top of it. We're just gonna put this plate that has our flowers that I'm gonna show you in just a second. And the reason why we're doing this, and you can use a piece of cardboard, you can use something with a little bit of substance to cover it, is we want this to cool slowly. So by covering it, then it's also gonna help slow down the Oh, that's going to be like a champagne gold. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So while we're waiting, now we're going to let this sit for about eight hours is what we need to do. I'm going to make all of the rest of mine and we'll see how they turn out. And then we'll start working on a project before we do that, though. Let's just break down the other flowers. So this flower in particular, hold on, I have already pre-dyed ones. Let me grab that for you. Okay. So I took this flower and just put the borax crystals over it. And it's got this like, looks like a big old snowball. There's some bigger chunks on here. Really, really like how this turned out. Then we have this lovely guy. Also just clear crystals. And there's some bigger chunks again. It does weigh down on the petals, so like this one opens up quite a bit, where this isn't gonna, it's light as a feather on that one. It does weigh them down a little bit, so keep that in mind too. And it does fluff off a little bit on my hands. I did show you this one earlier, but this was one of our pre-dyed poinsettias. Oh, it turned out so good. It's just perfect crystallization all over. And then this last one was also used with the mica powder. I had done like a purple of some sort on a cream flower. I know that doesn't look purple, but so who knows if this actually will turn out champagne or not. That's the other thing of this experiment. But boy. Now this was sitting kind of squished on the side of the cup and now I can't really open that up like I would like to. Um, but man. Oh, isn't that fun? 
One last thing I want to mention before we jump to the finished flowers that are all crystallized is um, once they're completely done, like done crystallizing, dried, ready to go, you want to top coat them with a clear uh, spray of some sort, whether that is Krylon, um, maybe a polyacrylic, some sort of clear finish on top of it to try to help keep those crystals from fluffing off over time. I haven't always had the best of luck and this is the first time that I'm trying it with the flowers. So we may do an update in a year from now to see how well the crystals held up. The last time I did a big crystal project, it was with a skull last year. So in 2022, when I went to look at it this year in 2023, a lot of the crystals were starting to fall off or disintegrate. Um, and I hadn't put any sort of top coat clear spray anything like that on there so i don't know if that would have helped let it last at least another year if it doesn't then that just means that these kind of this kind of project is a one and done use it for the season enjoy it while you have it but it probably is not going to last for very long similar to when we use the flowers outdoors they're not meant for outdoor use they're not going to hold up for a long time but they will hold up for about one one season if you will so one a wreath will last you most likely say one full spring season and then the flowers don't hold up to the elements as well and it may be the same case with these crystals but we won't really find out till next year when i come back in a year from now and see how well it, they held up so keep that in mind too when you're doing these kind of projects that it might be just a, a one and done kind of seasonal um project but they're so dang pretty i'm okay with only having them for one season because that just means next season i get to do it again all right i'll be back in about eight hours or so we'll see how everything turned out and we will get to making our project put your guesses down below what we're going to be making and we're back it's been a couple days i've already and this should come as no surprise to the project that we're gonna work on. I'm gonna tell you what the project is. I think you're gonna be really excited to see how the flowers turned out. I do have some thoughts and there were some fails, but just give me a second, we'll get there. First things first, I'm a realist. And yes, there's already a book ready to go. This one, um, yes, there's glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. If you're interested in how I put this, uh, made this book vase, we've done this tutorial once before. Over here on YouTube, we've done it on Facebook Live. Then I think there's also a TikTok for it as well. I'm obsessed with this type project and it kind of took our little corner of the internet by storm. We've had so many people making book vases. It makes my little heart just pitter patter so much. I love when I like, I'm like, huh, let's do this. And then a whole bunch of people do it. That just, it makes me so happy. We're doing another book vase. I didn't do one for Halloween. I wanted to, but I didn't. Um, so we're gonna do a, a more winter magical one. Okay, so again, if you wanna find out how to make this book vase, it's very easy. We already have a tutorial all about that. I will do my best to link it in the description. I'm not very good at that, but we're gonna try. Okay, moving on. Let's chat about how the flowers turned out the wins, the fails, and all of that jazz. All right, so this is where I'm, remember when I said you have to trust it, you have to let go and it's gonna do what it's gonna do. So I grabbed two dyed, well these have, okay, we've got a learning lesson from that one. Let's let's show this one. This one really crystallized really well. So this is one of our Lux flowers. It took to the crystals really, really well, super, super heavy. Now, for whatever reason, my American Beauty did did not take as many like it has crystals on there it's sparkly but there's not these like very pronounced um crystals on it this one did pretty dang well it did open up all of the petals because you're soaking it in water so that's the other thing when it comes to picking the right flower style if it's a flower that typically the petals start to uncurl it for sure is going to happen in that water solution. So if you don't, if you want it to keep its shape, then you're gonna to wanna to pick flowers that have a very tight shaped design, like the carnations are going to keep their shape. There's nothing's gonna happen with those. I need to talk to you about those in just a second. Here's a dolly, also the, it opened up. Um, I also stemmed everything with two wires because the borax crystal, these are heavy. So I feel like one wire, the it's just gonna, it's gonna fall over. So I did two in each one. So something else to note, 
when you're stringing them up, you may want to put holes in with um, like a bamboo skewer. So it makes a little bit of a bigger hole because you're going to need to then be able to put two wires in instead of one. Now, some of the learning lessons. Do you see in the carnations, there's this like white spots on there. I wanted to try to speed up the drying process and I put these in front of my um, fireplace. It's an electric fireplace here in the studio and where the heat hit it the most, that chemical reaction happened. So it turned white and I had yet to put a protectant seal over it because they were drying. So I didn't spray anything on there. I did put a clear coat on all of these flowers this time around. In the past when I've worked with borax crystals, I didn't. And then the next year when I pull it out, that's what happens. They all go this white color or they all start to fluff off. So you want to put some sort of uh, sealant on it, uh, polyurethane, um, a clear coat of like Krylon spray. I, I'm trying this. It's uh, a clear gloss finish. It's quick drying and it's a flexible glaze um, from Design Master. I don't know if it's gonna work, but that was the only thing I had right on hand um, to give it a go. Now, I did also try and make crystals on a piece of greenery. Now, this is a plastic greenery. And while it looks, it looks nice and frosted and stuff, um, sadly, the crystals just fall right off. They're not, they're not sticking. There's not enough grit, I'm guessing, um, or they're just too heavy on there. So I'm not going to use that. Well, should we use this piece? I was like, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this piece. No, I'm not going to because, uh, yeah, see, it just whole big chunks just fall off. Um, and I don't think spraying it down is going to help any, if anything, maybe spraying it prior to maybe. I don't know. It might just be this particular green. I'm going to try it again on different pieces of greenery, maybe a fabric one and see if that's any different. So there, there's everything. Here are our, oh, they're so heavy. Uh, I did have a couple petals on this one in particular, like come off, just break off. I think that's going to also be just kind of the norm. How pretty would these be with just like a little alligator clip and then putting them in your Christmas tree? So yeah, I am going pink. <laughs> I don't know that that should be any kind of surprise for anybody. We're, we're going back to the pink era and uh, completely embracing it 100%. All right, so there are the flowers. Oh, sad, sad thing I wanted to tell you too. I was so excited. I was like, I'm gonna use twinkle lights and I grabbed a box of my twinkle lights and turned them on. They're orange. I don't, the camera's probably looking yellow. They're orange, they're orange, they're orange, they're orange here, maybe it's, orange they're orange i wanted uh white lights um so these must have been i probably grabbed these at one point for a halloween project yeah i did uh so no twinkle lights this project would look so stinking adorable with twinkle lights but it's not gonna happen not gonna happen um and the last thing to talk about the greenery i'm i just grabbed a whole bunch of our winter greenery also the wide ruscus um just for fun or large ruscus. I always, I interchange those large and white. It's, it's the, it's not the Italian ruscus, it's the other ruscus. Uh, and then some pine stuff. We have lots of different seasonal greenery always at ohyourlovely.com. So the things that I'm using today may not be available in the store, but we have something that is also very seasonally based. No matter what time of year you're shopping over there at ohyourlovely.com. Okay, enough of the rambling. Let's get to the creating. I've never once made one of these when it's laying down. So let's give it a go and, and, and see what happens. One thing to note when we're doing this, so when we put it in here, we're, it's gonna be a forward facing, so you're gonna wanna bend your wires so that now it's sitting nice and flush. And when you adjust, don't adjust from the flower, adjust from the wire, if that makes sense. Because again, crunchy and I, yeah, I just broke one off. 
because I touched the petals. So these definitely are much more fragile than your typical wood flowers. Now you can't see it. Let's see. The wires went all the way down there. So I'm just going to <laughs> actually, that's the thing we might have to worry about is that some of the wires might adjust. Like, let's see when I stand this up, does that slide down? No, it just tilts forward. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to troubleshoot a little bit. We're going to weave our flowers into the greenery to give it some more stability. And we're also probably going to keep closer to the base than way up high um, so that there's again more stability. So there's a situation. <laughs> After I turned off the camera, brought it up, things did topple over a little, so we just adjusted a little bit. But then, then catastrophe struck, and um, my flowers started to fall apart, especially the ones with the open petals. So my dolly, and I think there was a Thelma in there, um, did not make it they just started to crumble. Like as soon as I was touching them, they were just falling apart. So there is no such thing as a failure when it comes to crafting. And just in general in life, it's a learning lesson. Say it with me, it's a learning lesson. So I learned um, to do the borax crystals, probably wanna do it on more tight, compact type style flowers instead of nice flowy, Loose flowers. The American Beauty also is uh, not doing all that great. I actually trimmed her up a little bit with some, um, with my scissors, um, my skizzers as some people would say, um, so that it didn't look like it had a big bite taken out of it, but it's, it's doing okay. Um, so learning lessons from this. If you're going to use the borax crystals on the wood flowers, tightly compact flowers are best. Verdict is still out when it comes to filler in terms of like plastic fillers. I'm gonna experiment a little bit more this winter season as well as trying with some silk fillers that we have as well. Some of the, something like seeded eucalyptus. I left my brain for a second. Something like this. Maybe we'll see what that does if it if it works or not. I don't know because borax is used in laundry, right? And we don't get crystals lifted on our, I don't know. I don't know. We won't know until we try. If you know though, you can always drop it down in the comments. So let's, let's take a look at the, the book, shall we? Um, also learning lesson on this one. While it is very pretty and I like it a lot, I, if I was to do this again, especially with the size flowers that I was using, I would use a bigger book so that I had a little bit more weight to go this way versus that way. I feel like it's pulling itself down this way a little bit. And if I had a larger book with a little bit of a better base at the bottom or putting more pages in might've been a better idea on this one. I still love it. Gosh, do I still love it? Wouldn't it be really pretty um, to make a base with like snow and twinkle lights in it and then kind of go, oh, this probably isn't the last one I'll make this year. This one will go in my house and start of the, um, my winter centerpiece that I gotta start pulling together. A little bit of glitter, a little bit of pine. <sighs> I love it so much. So, oh, that was really high pitch. I apologize. Also glitter all over my table. The season has truly, it is truly now winter crafting, even though we're still in fall. It is winter crafting. The glitter is all over the place. I'm full of glitter, it is the season. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was definitely a learning lesson for me. I learned a lot. I'm not done learning though. I wanna play around with this a bit more. We'll also see next year when I pull this out, if all of the crystals turn to that like white. It's the same thing that happens when I do things with Epsom salt. It's like crystally and pretty at first, but then within a couple of months, it goes all to that like very um, opaque white instead of it being um, kind of more see-through. So we'll see how that handles and holds up. Sometimes, you know, win them all. Every once in a while, you gotta have one that doesn't uh, go all that well. I also grabbed a couple little pine cones to throw in there too, just to throw in a little bit more of that um, natural 
vibe with the little bit of glitz and glam to it. I love I love playing with those um, two different kind of qualities. All right, enough of me. I feel like I've been rambling a lot on this one. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment, teach me something if you want. Um, I'm all for it. Or give me your tips and tricks. Uh, cry with me over the fact that the twinkle lights were bright orange and not a lovely little sparkly, like twinkly white light to, to mix in there. You win some, you lose some. Better luck next time, I suppose. <laughs> all right, if you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know the next time we post a tutorial, which is typically on Wednesdays, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style plus flowers we carry the wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery go to oyourlovely.com but before you do tis the season use the code youtube30 to get 30 percent off your first order of regular priced items i gotta throw that in there can't use a coupon code on an already marked down item i know is what it is all right you guys i will see you next week for another tutorial i'm stephanie from oh you're lovely you my friends are absolutely lovely bye guys i'm now going to sprinkle uh glitter wherever i go for the next three months to the world i say you're welcome and the rest of the world is probably like no thank you <laughs>